Hello and welcome back. Now, if you're new, you may not be familiar with this build. This is actually not an entirely new build. It started out with what you see here. It's a Dodge A100. I think it was part of like Larry's Garage. I don't recall. It's not a mainline because it does have metal base and rubber tires. But I had a buddy that wanted a customized antifreeze green A100 or van. I don't recall all the details. So we did what we do and we painted it Spectra Flame antifreeze green added some different wheels we also added lights working lights and I also did a panel wash on the actual all the doors that kind of thing and I was actually pretty proud of this custom but after I saw it again I wasn't entirely happy and we'll get to that in a moment for a few reasons the headlights are awesome the tail lights are awesome and we'll show you how we do those in this video now they will be old footage I'm just gonna splice that in here because I'm going to redo those. This old set had a CR2032 battery, which is in the shape of like a coin. It's not rechargeable, so I just had it hot glued into place. That's all fine and well, but unfortunately, you never know what the post office is going to give you. I boxed this up really nice, had it in its own box. It was bubble wrapped, everything, but I guess the postman decided he wanted to run over it with the truck and unfortunately this is how it ended up now it was still attached the screw from the bottom was not removed but a wheel was broken off and all the wires were ripped out of the bottom of the vehicle I don't even know how that happened it's kind of what you see here the battery had fallen out and it was just a hot mess the box was crushed there's actually some paint that's missing I don't even know how that happened on the bottom it uh, turned out to be a hot mess. Speaking of keeping items secure, I've been carrying around this Ridge wallet for about four months now. It's RFID technology, keeps all my information safe, holds 12 cards, as well as cash. The Ridge wallet is available in 30 different colors and styles, ranging from titanium, which we have here, all the way up to carbon fiber. Now there are a few different options for the money clip. This is the standard money clip that you see here. It's very tight. I can actually hold the money up by the clip. Fits very nicely in there. I also carry the OD green, but I have a different style clip. This is actually a strap. After four months of use, I can tell you I really love this Ridge wallet, but don't take my word for it. There's over 30,000 five-star reviews. And today you can save 10% on the Ridge wallet. Go to ridge.com forward slash WNT for 10% savings. And here we can see the holder where the battery once was. I'm not sure exactly what happened to it. All the wires are ripped out of the actual button. There's a button on the bottom that should have turned the casting on and off. There it is. It looks like they've been burnt. And <laughs> they have because the somebody tried to repair it. Let's put it that way. And didn't do such a hot job, but that's fine. It's very small, tedious work. And one of the wheels was just broken off. Luckily, it was still in the box, but we're not going to reuse that. Now I'm going to pry those custom-made lenses and the lights out because we are not going to reuse either one of those. And now it's time to strip off that antifreeze green Spectre Flame. Now my buddy didn't necessarily want this a different color but I wasn't happy with it and I gave him some other samples and we chose a different color. Here is the casting after I've removed all the paint. You can see it's pretty clean. I took a lot of time in the original custom in cleaning up this body and I will post that video in the description which is located below this video. I removed the original button but I do want to clean up the original casting some more so once I clean up this button area I'm going to go ahead and wet sand with 3000 up to 12000 and more polish because I'm going to paint this Spectra Flame green again, but a different shade. So I want to get it almost a chrome finish, or as close as I can get it. 
and I'll just polish away and keep on polishing and polishing, polishing, polishing. And personally, I don't think I can do much better than this. I mean, that is as close to chrome as I can get. Not bad. And I also end up changing the tire wheel combination on this to a stagger setup. I just think that will complement this van very well, the staggered setup. I think it looks cool. Now this next portion is old clips on how I did the lights. Now we're going to drill a hole in the base because we need access to a magic button that operates these lights. More than enough to hold those. And now we need to make some headlight lenses. I'll make a separate video next week on this process. There are several different ways to do it. We're taking a protecto pack with a heat gun and using the end of a brush to get the desired shape. We simply push the lens in place. You can see the difference. That's without a lens. And you can see with a lens, it looks more like a headlight. There's more of a glow instead of the shape of the actual bulb. And we'll glue them in place with clear plastics. And just like that, we're back in 2020. I do have some of that original footage playing up in the left hand corner. These are new lights. The button is a little bit longer on these. I'm not sure if that was just a change he made, but also this is a recharging port. This new light system has a rechargeable battery. So right now I need to mark the base where I need to cut in that charging port. And what I'm gonna do is just drill a fairly good size hole, not too big. And I'm going to take files and just slowly file until it's perfect. And I think I got it as perfect as I can get it. Hopefully you'll agree. Trust me, this was a lot of filing. A lot more than I put on here. Got the body painted, which I believe is like lime apple green. We got our new lenses made. I did glue those in place with the window maker like I did before. And then I hot glued them in place with some black hot glue and reassembled everything. And here's what we end up with. See that button's a little bit smaller, so the hole's a little bit bigger, but it is longer. And we got our charging port. I think the paint turned out exceptionally well. And here's how you charge it. You just plug it in, and it takes like a regular micro USB on the other end. And you could charge it and play with it for hours. Also, some other little things I did to the van. I did not do the white wash or the black wash on the panels. I think it looks better without that. But I did do a black wash on the front grill and I painted the front turn signals. And of course, we re-added the lights, new lights. Much better with the recharging port. And I don't have to worry about that battery popping out and that kind of thing. We also painted the door handles, and that was really it. There's no clear, no nothing. Didn't do anything like that to this. I prefer this staggered look a lot more than the original, and I think it turned out great. And he actually has it. It's intact, and he got to play with it. Not that he really played with it, but he got to turn the lights on and off and experience it for the first time because he has only seen it on video up until that point. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I'm extremely happy that he's happy that's the most important thing and uh, it was a lot of fun hopefully we'll get back to this video thing I'm not sure how soon it's uh, just work has been crazy I think most of us that have had to work through this pandemic seems like we're working harder than we've ever had before and it doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon so hopefully I can get some time and some interest and upload more of these videos Again, I will post links to the original video in the description below this video. I will also have links to the Ridge Wallet. Thanks again, Ridge, for sponsoring this video. And I will also have Amazon links to all the tools that I use. So if you're interested in anything I'm using in this video, the drill bits, the buffing pads, the little holder, it's actually a watch holder where I hold the casting into place to drill, I have all that in the links below the video in the description. They're Amazon affiliate links. It'll click you to my page, and there's a list of everything I use there. I also have a Patreon page. hasn't been very active. I've actually 
pretty much neglected it, unfortunately. But if you are interested in supporting the channel, patreon.com, wheels and things, I'm there. I'll have a link to that as well. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those in the comments section below. I try to get back to everyone, at least on the more recent videos. I get so many that sometimes I do get a bit backed up. And as always, thanks for watching.